really make a study plan for your ACCA exams. Making a study plan or having a study plan is very important. Weekly and daily goals. Yes, review your syllabus area, your study material, right? Hi everyone, I am ACC Disha Chauhan of Proud Fin Drama. I am here today to share with you that how to really make a study plan for your ACC exams. If you are interested in knowing that, keep on watching this video. Now, making a study plan or having a study plan is very important because it lets you, you know, sort of maintain a focus because you know, okay, this much I have done, this much I need to do. So you focus that, okay, I need to cover these many things now and it also helps you of course to stay on track now how exactly to go about it now the first step for you should be that you need to find out your exam date yes before you start making your study plan first find out what exactly is the date of your exam very simple to do right just go on the internet type acc exam timetable for whichever attempt you're giving let's say you're giving for june so just write june 2023 attempt and you will have the timetable so you know that okay if i'm appearing let's say for example for double a that okay it's on this particular day now you have the date you can work backwards so second step will be then to basically review your syllabus areas your study material right because you will now have to break down it into various topics so for example if i'm giving a particular paper and i have seen i'm seeing that okay there are let's say four syllabus areas or uh, there are six syllabus areas so under each syllabus areas of course there are going to be so many chapters or sessions you could call it and of course under that there will be so many topics so you need to break it down that okay this particular topic i'm gonna do it one day these this looks like a small topic i could maybe do it in a half day whatever it is you are going to be breaking down it into topics subtopics and that is something that you will be putting it on your syllabus plan next step is of course setting realistic goals yes very important what do we do sometimes? We set really unrealistic goals. If you really can't study 10 hours a day, don't make a study plan which would really require you to study 10 hours a day. So set realistic goals. If you can only study for 2 hours a day or let's say 1 hour a day, depending on your other commitments, maybe you are studying somewhere else, you are a college student or maybe you are a working professional. So that's why you need to have realistic goals, right? So you need to see what are your other commitments and based on that, how much will you be actually be able to study and of course your weekdays and your weekend you know distribution of time would be different because maybe on weekdays you have more commitments you could only study let's say an hour or so but on weekend then you could of course increase that so you need to set realistic goals you need to also identify various topics and you see that okay you see a particular topic you go through your study material and you say oh this topic is just 10 page long i'll probably study in like 45 minutes to one hour and if you see a topic and you see that okay this chapter is like 30 pages long and it's a really huge chapter so i will require more hours and of course once you are doing that you know once you're studying there could be some changes you you for a particular topic let's say you assume this will take me one hour but you finished it in 30 minutes great now that time which is left you can actually allocate it to another topic right another important thing to do when you're creating your study plan is to set weekly and daily goals yes very important set daily goals that okay this day on let's say on monday you decide i'll study one hour and i'll complete this topic on tuesday you decide i have more time i'll study two hours and i'll complete this 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 topic so you need to set daily goals and also weekly goals so by this week let's say uh, you are in april and you say by week two i'll be done with these many chapters by week four i'll be done with these many chapters so set weekly goals and track them that were you actually able to do are you setting realistic goals or you are setting really unrealistic goals and that's why you're not able to achieve it all the goals are realistic but you are not putting in that time that you need to to achieve that so set realistic goals and break it down to weekly and daily goals very important then another important part is of course keeping a track of your study plan study schedule whatever you want to call it you know whatever you have time allocated to a particular chapter session keep a track 
if you are going overboard then see how you could you know overcome how you could adjust it during the week keep a track that are you actually following your study plan maybe the study plan says that by now you should be on chapter let's say just taking an example chapter 10 and maybe you are on chapter 6 so you are way behind why are you lacking continuously you might have to adjust or amend your study plan like i said right few topics you realize while doing that they require more attention so you'll put more time in that you will also allocate more time to revision and practice question for those topic and finally i would really say very important is stick to your study plan yes you have made the study plan just not for the sake of it you need to actually stick with it and avoid procrastination yes if you are for some reason one day not able to study let's say on tuesday i decided i'll study 2 hours 4 to 6 time slot i dedicated but i when i just sat to study i got a call from somebody that oh it's an emergency could you really come and of course i had to go so it's fine you were not able to study but then make up for those 2 hours on wednesday study half an hour more thursday study maybe one hour more so you need to do that you need to stick to your study plan you need to make sure you're achieving whatever goals you set out for because if you do that then i promise by the end of the you know session in the sense if you're giving for june session or attempt by the end of may you will be at a comfortable position if you're planning to give for september then of course you know plan accordingly because you have then many months if you plan that okay i'm giving in september but only i'll start studying from june which is fine but then plan in advance that okay from when will i start to study and make sure you are following that and if you are giving let's say in your june attempt then make sure you are putting in that required time that okay this by this date my exam is there so now i'll work backwards by this date my syllabus needs to be complete by this date my revision needs to be done by this date i will give a mock exam so all of that is something that you will have to plan and stick to it very important you're just not making the study plan for the sake of it so make sure you stick to it and by the end of it you will realize that you know comfortably you were able to complete everything because you had a study plan otherwise in the end it's going to be really difficult you might be left with lots of syllabus areas to complete you might have a lot of to revise and questions to do which you will not be able to finish even till the exam date So that's why have a study plan ready. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel because it really motivates us to make such videos for you. Like always, share it with your friends and I will see you soon. Till then, this is Disha Chauhan signing off.